Today we're looking at the Outkit Solarist, uh, which weighs 1.2 kilograms. It is small and lightweight and could be very good for bicycle travel. And I've also got the optional footprint, which you will need if you want to put the outer skin of a tent up without the inner so red. Not tried it yet, but we'll see what happens. Right, so first of all, I'm going to put the tent up in a kind of a standard way. Even though you can, as I said, you can use the outer only. And it's possible if you're on a dry night to use the inner only. So let's get on with that. So what I've got here is the footprint. As you can see, it's got V's on. There, so you can put the poles in to use the kind of outer only. But I'm just going to lay it on the floor where I'm going to put the tent up. And first of all, I'm just, I'm, as I said, I'm going to put it up kind of the normal way. So I put the ground sheet footprint down anyway. And I will move the camera to get a better view. So the outside comes in this nice green, which is the perfect colour. That is the inside part. That looks like a bit of a mess, but they're actually all joined together, so and it's pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Clicks together. So we can lay it, we're gonna lay out the this part first, the inner. And there's only one door and we want that at the front. Right, so we get the end of our pole. I'm just making sure you can see what I'm doing. And it's going into this corner thing. And we're, and we're going to do that all the way around. Right, we're going to put the poles into the corners all the way around the tent.
So as you can see there, the poles are kind of standing up on their own, so it's a matter of clipping the inner of a tent to the poles, which is pretty straightforward. So there you go, if it was a hot summer night and you knew it wasn't going to rain, you could use that like that. <clears throat> I haven't pegged it down because it kind of stands on its own, but when I put the fly on, I'll probably have to use the pegs to get it into the right shape. Well there is partially done, it's not finished yet so it kind of looks a bit baggy at the moment. So there it is pegged down at the the back only just to give it a shape. I've not put any other pegs in but it's got guy ropes on the side so you could peg them out if you wanted to. And obviously if you were putting that outside up only with the ground sheet, you'd probably have to use other pegs. It's quite straightforward. I've done a couple of, I think I've done a, a couple of camps in this location. Yeah, hopefully I will come back. Do another camp here soon. Ian is out of action for a while, so hopefully I'll get well and will return. Right, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and we'll get inside the tent. Here's what a lovely little woodland. I'm going to unzip the tent.
There's a zip on both sides with Velcro flaps. If you do want to roll it up, there's a your little tug off thing. The ground in these woods isn't too rough, so I'm going to crawl in without getting my air mattress out. But the ground is a bit lumpy. But See, it's ventilated at the top, I mean. I can already, already see insects crawling around, but that's what happens when you go camping. Yeah, there's a ventilation thing up there where you can open up. I'm about five foot seven and there's plenty of room for me. But if, I think if we were a lot taller, this tent might be too short for you. Even though I can move up this way a bit, but not much. No, I, I could lay the other way, but it won't make much difference to your height. Right. And one good thing about this tent, you can sit up in it, you can. And it's got a little hook, which is a nice feature. And if you pulled these sides out with the guy lines, you'd, it might be a bit better, but it wasn't necessary today. I'm going to take the tent down now and get off home. So let me know what you think. And my viewers, do you want me to do an overnight camp in this tent? And I'm hoping it will be raining so we can give it a good test. Right, let me know what you think and... And if you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. We're a totally honest, realistic bicycle channel. It's a cycle channel, really, but I like going camping, exploring, and various things. So subscribe to get more. Right, let me know what you think. All right, goodbye for now. Right, shall we just walk away from the tent as far as we can and see what it looks like? You know, I'm keeping my voice down because not meant to be in here. We're near a road and it gets very busy in the good weather. I'm not that far away, and can you see the tent? See, Alka have really chosen a good colour there. I can go a bit further away. Now I can just about see it because I know where it is, but you 
Yeah, that really is a perfect colour. This is why it looks like out into the meadow. Flipping wonderful. Right. Alright, I'm going to get back and get packed up. <laughs>